possible to change. It is possible to change. Don't let anybody tell you that it's not possible to change. You better watch me in the prison. Hear me good. It is possible to change. I don't care what the statistics say. I don't care what anybody says. If Christ be in you, he will change your us to sit still and here's the danger because if the enemy can shut your mouth and he can steal your praise then he can take your future because when you stop praising you stop living don't you miss this because what lives in your mouth lives in your future and your victory is in your praise and in essence watch this your praise is found in your prayers because in essence the presence of prayer is the birthplace for your praise and if the enemy can confuse you enough to sit still he can defeat you but the devil is a liar I said the devil is a liar I said the devil is a liar I said the devil is a liar God's getting ready to resurrect somebody's praise God's getting And he says, our brother Lazarus is dead, but even now, oh my God, you missed it. He's dead, but even now, even now is revelation, dead is situation. God said, that's where your fluctuation and your fl flesh is, but even now is where your faith is. And she said, he's dead, but even now, it stinks, but even now, it's hopeless, but even now, fluctuations between flesh and faith. I'm looking at this situation. He says he don't love me, but even now. They fired me last Monday, but even now, God's gonna open a new door. He walked out on me, but even now. They, they lied about me and wrote about me and said it was over, but even now. They said I'm not ministry 
material. God couldn't use me because I sexually and physically abused, because I had a child out of wedlock, because I was a mess, didn't hear the gospel till I was 18. But even now, those fluctuations will make you feel psychotic some days. Jesus says, don't you tell me where he died, show me where he died. Because if you be, if you're willing to take him back, not to the place where you will tell him, go over there and resurrect him. But if you will take Jesus to the very spot where you gave up, the very place that your heart broke and you stopped believing, take him back to the place where they brought you in that meeting and told you that you can never be used by God. Take them into the place. You take him there. Take him back into that courtroom where those papers were filed. Take him to the place where you almost lost your mind. Take him to the place where you wanted to die and not live anymore. Take him to the place where you held that gun to your head and you were too afraid to pull the trigger, but you would rather die than live. Take him to that place. Lazarus! Say 
to me. When I was having troubles, he said, you can't see, you can't see, because you ain't on the right floor. He said, you're trying to see with your eyes, and you're trying to see, you're trying to see through ministry, and you're trying to see through religion, he said, but you haven't seen in my spirit, and so, and so I start testing that thing, and when you step, oh my God. to say that the celestial would wrap himself up in the terrestrial. He stooped down to let you know that he would come to 40 and two generations to come where we were. He stooped down to let you know that he would humble himself and become obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. He stooped down to express that though he's high and lifted up, he became poor, that through his poverty we might be made rich. I don't know what he wrote, but I'm glad he stooped down. Thank you, Lord, for stooping down when everybody else was passing over me and looking over me and laughing all about me and talking about me. I thank you because you stooped down. I couldn't get up if you didn't stoop down. You got down so I could get up. That's why I'm in the prisons. That's why I'm reaching around the world because the God that I'm preaching about, he stoops down. Adulterer, to the adulterer, to the 
you for being willing to touch the dirty places in my life. When nobody thought I was worth touching and nobody wanted to get involved with my situation and everybody thought I was past help or delivered, thank you, he touched me. Oh, he touched me and all the child and all that feel my soul, I don't know what he wrote. All I know is that when folk was trying to kill me, he was writing in my soul. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against God. And when I was guilty, he touched me. I don't know about you, but he's still writing. He's still writing in my life. He just turned the page. Some of you, God, just turned the page in your life. Just when the devil thought he had you, God turned the page. Said, your life is over. I'm taking you to another chapter. I'm not to write you. This is not how your story ends. Tell your neighbor, this is not how your story ends. It may not be going the way you want it to go right now. But this is not how your story ends. Forgive me for being country and being a hillbilly, but slap somebody and tell them it ain't over. I know things don't look good right now. I know things aren't lining up right now. But the Lord brought you to Atlanta to tell you it ain't over. Tell your sister beside you, behind you, say, girl. Every day. Come on, lift your hands and tell them, tell them. 